This is Happy Half Hour, a Peoria Life web show brought to you by Enjoy Peoria. Hello and welcome to Happy Half Hour. On this week's show, we sit down with the City of Pekin to talk about their weekly farmer's market, as well as some other fun events coming up. Later, Casey heads out to the Peoria Himalayan Salt Cave about to talk about a new fun way to de-stress in Peoria. It's inside a salt cave. It's really cool. you got to check it out. We'll also fill your free time with some amazing events coming up this week. So sit back and relax and let's have a happy half hour. Stay tuned. There are so many amazing restaurants in the Peoria area, but only a few that let you wear the chef's hat. Hokkaido offers some of the best Asian cuisine in the Peoria area. Enjoy a fun show with their hibachi grill, feast on their mouth-watering sushi, and they have something you won't get anywhere else in the Peoria area. Korean barbecue. And the best part about Korean barbecue, you'll be the grill master. They supply the meat and vegetables and you get to grill them to your own preference. Hokkaido's Korean barbecue is a delicious and fun dining option. Do you want to find out more about what's going on in the Peoria area? Well, check us out at enjoypeoria.com. Let's go for a bike ride. Check out City Cycle, the Peoria area's bike share program, brought to you by Enjoy Peoria and powered by Zagster. City Cycle has bike stations located in six different spots. <coughs> Membership is super affordable, and riding the bikes is so easy. All you do is download the Zagster app, choose your bike, unlock, ride, and return to any of the stations. Wanna try it out? Visit Ride City Cycle on Facebook for more weekly farmer's market. However, there's more than just food and produce at this market. Joining us more to talk about it is the Downtown Development Coordinator for Pekin, Courtney Sinus. Courtney, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, um, just kind of talk about this farmer's market and who you have that, that you know, some of the vendors that, that you have there. Yeah, we have a large variety of vendors. We have everything from produce and vegetables, as well as some crafts. And we also offer a community booth, so there will be different community organizations at the farmer's market. And we also feature a weekly food truck as well. Okay, and is, is that just like a rotational food truck or? Yeah, so we have a schedule. We have a bunch of different food trucks that'll be um, at the farmer's market. You can find that on our website. And then if anybody uh, wants to participate and they have a food truck, they're more than welcome to do that as well. And you kind of touched on this a little bit, um, that it's more than just, just food and produce. You guys have other things to offer. Um, can you just kind of go over some of those and, and why you like to offer, you know, those crafts and some of those other forms yeah. of entertainment? Well, with the Pekin Farmers Market, we really wanted to engage the whole community. We really wanted to engage the downtown district. So we wanted to push it past just a little bit further past, you know, your typical typical farmers market. So we have like the country nook come. So, you know, she's getting good business and she does crafts and she has some fun things. And then we also wanted to get the uh, organizations in the community, such as United Way and the YWCA. Okay, cool. Um, so how often is the, is the market running? So the market will be every Wednesday from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and it will go through October 17th. Okay, excellent. Um, and then on Wednesdays, what? How did you guys choose Wednesdays out of all the days during the week? Because I know a lot of the farmers markets, you know, they're they're during the weekend or like on a Friday night. Yeah, um, absolutely. So Pekin used to host the farmers market on Thursday afternoons, and it wasn't gaining a lot of success. So we were like, let's just try something new. So we thought with the downtown community, uh, the lunchtime hour is a good time to do something downtown. There's a lot of people down there. So we said, let's try out this Wednesday, middle of the week, um, and then we aren't competing with many other markets. So you can still, you can come support Pekin's market, and you can go and support Peoria's market okay. as well. Cool. So it's just like, you know, you have a chance to get some stuff. And the cool thing is that, that they both have different things to offer. So exactly. it's not like you're really... Um, going and, and doing the same thing. Yeah. Um, so when did you guys start doing this? this when did, when did the, the market start this summer? The market started on May 30th, okay. which was a little early in the season. So a lot of people were wondering when we're going to get more produce. And as we get into the summer, more vegetables and more produce are available. How's the reception been? Really well. We've, we've received great feedback from the community, so we're really excited Excellent. about that. Excellent. Um, and, and you said it started May 30th. Mm -hmm. um, how long does it run for? It will go through October 17th. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, and so for, for people who are interested in becoming a vendor, um, how do they sign up? Where do they go? Yeah, so we're a producer-only market. You can find an application on our website, www.peakinfarmersmarket.com, 
or you can come into City Hall and we have applications there as well. Are you guys looking for other things to add on to it as time goes on? Is it just, you know, based off of who signs up? Or? Yeah, we are always looking for vendors. We really want to, uh, you know, make it grow as much as we can. We have about 20 vendors right now. So um, if you're interested, if you think you have something to bring to the table, we'd be more than happy to have you. Right, perfect. Um, and I know you, you told me before we started that you have uh, some other really fun events yeah. kind of in the woodwork. Um, can you kind of talk about some of those? Absolutely. So the city of Pekin is hosting four different events this summer. We've already had our first one, which was our summer kickoff, and it was a huge success. So next up, we have Bike Night that is uh, July 27th, and that's in conjunction with Super Cruise, which is that Saturday. Then we have bathtub races, which is something new we're bringing to Pekin. It's going to be Friday, August 17th, so you can find more information on that on our Facebook page. And then we're also going to bring back the Friday night family fest right before Marigold Festival. All right, so you, you had me at bathtub races. I yes. need to know more about these bathtubs. So is it just like you, you just get a bathtub, put it on wheels, and you race it, or how does it much. work? You get creative, so you build a bathtub. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bathtub, something that holds water. Uh -huh. And then we're going to race them down Court Street, and we're going to have prizes and trophies. It's going to be a really fun time. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so what, what time, when are you planning on doing that? That's Friday, August 17th. Okay, I'm making a note in my head, Friday, yes. August 17th. Put it in your planner. Yeah, because that's... A lot of these events, you know, the, the bike night, um, uh, the um, the bathtub races, and mm -hmm. the super cruise obviously has been such a big, absolutely, uh, a big event. Um, how is this, you know, how is this helping you guys bring more people into Peak and, and, and you know, not just enjoying, you know, just a downtown Peak and because it's really cool, but but the rest of the, yeah. the city as well. We're doing a lot of effort to try and include everybody. So. You know, we're doing a lot um, to let everybody know what Pekin has to offer. You know, we're reaching out in the surrounding communities and letting them know that Pekin isn't just, you know, a town with nothing going on. We have a lot of fun events. We're featuring uh, an event at every different block in downtown. So not only does it get people downtown, but they see the businesses there, they see the restaurants, and then they want to come back. And it just all around supports the downtown district and Pekin as a whole. I am say for someone like you, you, you um in, in your position and, and being from Pekin, how, how exciting is that to be able to get people to Pekin yeah. and, and get people like energized, not just people, you know, from outside of town, but people mm -hmm. that are in town too that may not necessarily know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, I love Pekin. I've, you know, lived here my whole life. And so when I see people downtown and enjoying themselves and complimenting the, uh, you know, how our downtown district has improved and how they're happy that we're starting to host events, it makes me really happy. Perfect. Excellent. Well, is there anything else we're missing? No, I think that uh, you've got it all. Just come to our farmer's market, support our events, and if you need any more information, you can go to the City of Pekin's Facebook page. Right. Perfect. Excellent. Well, Courtney, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for having me. Yeah. Stay tuned. More Happy Half Hours next. Get out your calendars. We're about to fill your free time. Step back in time and enjoy one of the best 80s cover bands in the Midwest. Past Curfew at the Paradise Casino Rocks Bar, June 29th. Past Curfew is here for an awesome night of 80s with very special guests, the Shoebies. Rock out to the Paradise Facebook page to learn more. Come witness the magic of lanterns as they light up the Glen Oak Park Lagoon at the Water and Lantern Festival, Saturday, June 30th. The Water Lantern Festival brings people together for a magical night of food, music, and an awe-inspiring sight as the lanterns reflect upon the water. Interested? Visit the Water Lantern Festival website for more information. Concerts in the Courtyard in Heritage Square continue June 30th with Chicago Farmer. Get ready for a magical evening by one of the best storytellers around. Enjoy the live music and great beer from Poor Brothers Craft Tap Room. Did you know you can do trivia in the Peoria area pretty much any night of the week if you wanted to? Get a group together of your smartest friends, or maybe just the ones with the most useless knowledge in their heads, and check out one of the great trivia nights in the area. You can play Monday night at Brasky's, Tuesday at MD's Sports Bar and Grill, Wednesday at Poor Brothers Tap Room, and Thursday at the Fox Pub. Looking for more fun events? Head on over to our website, enjoypeoria.com, or visit us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Enjoy Peoria. Welcome back to Happy Half Hour. In this fast-paced world that we live in, chances are you deal with a little bit of stress and tension. Well, we have got the solution for you. Today we're coming to you from the Peoria Himalayan Salt Cave, and we're talking to the owner, Nikki Wenzel Spratt, um, about what a Himalayan Salt Cave is and how it can help you in your day-to-day -day life. So, Nikki, thanks so much for having us today. You're very welcome. Let's start with the first question. What is a Himalayan salt cave? So basically what we do here is we have, we had salt cave builders come and build 
basically a man-made cave and um, it, the, all of the walls are surrounded with Himalayan salt, um, pink Himalayan salt, rock and brick on the walls, white Himalayan salt on the floors, totaling over 11,000 pounds of Himalayan salt oh in gosh. here. Um, and then, and then part of part of what makes this more of a therapeutic experience is, um, in addition to the salt surrounding you, you also have um, uh, pharmaceutical grade sodium chloride salt um, pumped in during the session as well. And so that's kind of what gives the health benefits of breathing and that type of thing. Um, it's a good qu good comment there. What are the health benefits of okay. Himalayan salt? I know you, you read about it all the time, and I only cook with it, but why? <laughs> well, okay, so Himalayan salt actually has, why it is considered to be better than what we think of at home as our table salt is because it has 84 trace minerals in it. Um, but for a setting like this, what you are experiencing is not just a wonderful setting for stress relief, relaxation, um, that type of a thing, but you breathe in the tiny salt particles, they go down into the lungs where they help to clean and purify. So anyone that has um, allergies, asthma, cold, sinus, even COPD, will notice improved breathing. Um, they feel more open. Uh, it's easier to take a deep breath. And then Himalayan salt is also known to be really good for your skin. We keep some Himalayan salt balls out at our um, at our chairs here. Yeah. yeah. Let's grab one. And so sometimes people will just hold these in their hands, um, and then you can rub them on your skin. I've even had people lay back and put them on their heads because it can help with headaches. Yeah. So yeah, and they're antiviral, antibacterial. Um, so when people handle them, they don't pass germs from yeah. person to person. Um, and then probably the other big benefit that you hear people talk about, same with the salt lamps, is that the salt gives off negative ions. That helps to counter the positive or pollutant ions that were around all day. And so when you leave a cave session, your body truly does feel balanced and you just feel good. That's fantastic. I love, I love that, I know you go in either in socks or I'm barefoot right now, and it does, it just feels nice on your toes, and you do, you feel like you can kind of just feel it just purifying. Um, I love it. So what do you do in a salt cave? So really, a lot of people, when they come in for the first time, they have no idea what to expect, and it's, it's a very odd concept in the sense that you really just come in, sit back, relax, and breathe. Um, we have some very nice spa music that pipes in during that time, and we do ask, you know, it's a break from your electronics, so we ask that you not bring them in. Um, we ask that people remain quiet um, so that it can be, it can truly be a time of relaxation, meditation, whatever it is best for you, um, or whatever it is you're looking to get out of it. So how long is a general session? Every session is 45 minutes, and they start on the hour. So if you scheduled your appointment for 10 o'clock, we'd ask that you come 10 to 15 minutes early. Then once your session starts, it's 45 minutes. Okay, so you're saying 45 minutes of just laying back in a chair and breathing and relaxing, and that sounds amazing and something that I think people don't do enough of or schedule time for, so that's fantastic. Um, I know we talked earlier, and you mentioned that you're um, working on some new ideas and some new programs to offer here. Can you tell us a little bit about that? First, we would like to offer yoga, and I'm in the process of trying to figure out where is best in the schedule to fit that or how many different sessions would be beneficial to people. Um, so I'm, I'm, I've got a couple of ladies that I'm talking with that do yoga, that teach yoga, and then also um, 309 has reached out to me. And so I need to work, I need to get back with them and we're gonna talk about scheduling yoga in here. And then after that, and this might be yet a couple months down the line, but we do wanna offer massage. And we have an extra room here right now that I haven't decided exactly what to do with, but my thought is we'll line that room with Himalayan salt brick. Um, there won't be salt on the floor, but there will be salt that pumps in. And so it would still be that halo therapy, which is what salt therapy is called. Um, it, but it would be combined with massage, so you'd have the massage and the halo therapy together. That's probably six months down the road maybe, but that's what we're looking at doing. Well, that sounds amazing. So what inspired you to bring this to the Peoria area? How did you get, how did you fall in love with Himalayan salt? Well, so I, gosh, maybe... Eight years ago, um, I was just up in the Naperville area doing like a spa girls weekend and saw this salt cave. And I thought, hmm, that seemed interesting. I'd never heard of that before. So I called and scheduled an appointment. And from the very first session I had there, I absolutely loved it. It's hard to describe the feeling that you have after you leave a cave session, but you just feel so renewed. You feel so relaxed. Um, and so I would go back there for 
well, many years. I went from probably 2010, 2011 until I opened mine here. At this market. Um, and I would go, you know, not that often because it was a two-hour and 15-minute drive or so there and then back. Thank but you for having me. maybe so, four times a year um, I would go, and I just loved it. And then I got to a place in my day. teaching well, career where I just felt it was time to do something different. And being an entrepreneur, something that has interested me for several years. And it took me it took me a while to think of bringing Salt Cave here. I loved it, but I didn't. It wasn't something that was in my mind initially, and then as soon as I thought of it, I thought, oh my God, I need to do this and get on it fast before somebody else takes the idea. So, um, so yes, I just, I, I truly love it, and I'm just so glad to be able to bring it here. That's amazing. And how has it been received by the area? Because this is a very new concept for a lot of people, I imagine. It is a very new concept, and and overwhelmingly, the, the response has been positive. Um, we've got such a nice following here for... You know, whether that well, be the like the holistic market, approach really or alternative therapies or just coming really and relaxing in a spa type setting, district. you so we, we hit a, a variety of different kinds of people and needs. Um, so, so far, it's market. been wonderful. So and I imagine, I know just from sitting here at this 10 minutes that I need to come back. So I imagine you have a lot of repeat customers, too, once you get in and here and, and just enjoy the this ambiance and just breathe. It's amazing. United Way and the YWCA. We do. We've, got, we've had a couple of um, so how often um, is the, is the monthly running? members. So, so they, the they, when you join and you do a monthly membership, you can come every day if you want to, we'll which, is, which is basically what people Excellent. will do. If you have allergies that are terrible, our first monthly member, she did her like mid... I know a lot of the farmer's markets... No, maybe the end of March to the first week of May, like and so um, yeah, she came so every day, and she said her allergies during that time were afternoon. incredibly it better. It was very noticeable. Success, so we were like, so, let's just yeah. try something new. Well, that's fantastic. So, so where can you find out about the different uh, um, the packages, the time slots available, that sort of thing? Probably the best location right now is our Facebook page, and it's just under Peoria Himalayan Salt Cave. We are working on updating our website and making that a little bit more user-friendly. Right now it's just kind of kind of a generic website. Right, but um, cool. Facebook so is great right like, now, you know, you and you can find stuff. all of that stuff and on there. The cool thing is that, that and, you know, they both have different things to offer. Exactly. So it's not like you're really. And also, when you walk uh, in um, in the storefront, the you have all yeah. of the um, Himalayan so salt needs covered. When did you um, where do you, doing this? When when do you find a lot of people purchasing this after they leave and kind of taking a little piece of it home? They do. Surprisingly, and I did not know this, but the Himalayan salt balls that we have out here, my salt cave builder said you have to leave these in the room. He said you will be surprised how much people love these, and when they leave, that. That is one of the things we have a hard time keeping in stock. I mean, I will order four to five dozen at a time, and then I'm ordering them. I probably ordered them three times in the last two months. So, yeah. So it kind of just depends on what you're looking for. But, yeah, there's the Himalayan, the Himalayan salt products are, one, beautiful, but they also are functional as well. I think you're in a really interesting location because, I mean, when you drive by, you wouldn't think, oh, that's probably a salt cave building. Um, but, you know, you're in a very great area. Um, can you tell a little bit about how you picked the spot? It, goes on, it's well, just, you know, so I had I had some difficulty in deciding yeah, where I wanted to be, but really what I love about to, this location uh, you know, is, first, I'm right up on Pioneer Parkway, right and Pioneer Parkway so, is a very um, well-traveled road, and at first I wasn't table, sure happy, that that was perfect. necessarily um, going to be the best know, fit, you, you but when I when we were traveling around, my husband and I, yeah. looking kind of for spots. Initially, I was drawn to the Grand Prairie area just because Absolutely. it seems so to be more of a fit out there. But um, in our location, right behind us, we have a women's one, health center. Off, and I think there's success. another um, so health facility back behind uh, uh, back behind our building that kind of fits in into, you know, this type of a thing. And so it really works out perfectly, I think. Well, I agree. I think it's an awesome location. Thank you so much for letting us come in today, Nikki. I really appreciate it. It's an amazing spot. So if you guys need a little relaxation, in your life right or just need to take a minute right, for so yourself, you, you uh, check out Peoria Himalayan Salt Cave so on Facebook. <laughs> And so stay tuned. Like we'll be back with more Happy Half Hour. Put it on wheels and you race it, or Hi, this is Matt Rixner, owner of the so Fox Pub and Cafe. You know, and this is one of our signature British fare dishes, water. chicken and curry. And we're going to race them down
response and then they want to come back and it just all around supports the downtown district. And Head down to Water Street to the Hive like Art you, Studio and Gallery. Um, Pretend you're Picasso and learn to paint a masterpiece on canvas. How, how Fun and passionate people instructors people will lead you step by like step in one of their many painting people, classes you know, offered throughout the year. But if you want to let your creative juices flow freely, you can always make your own creation during happy art. The Hive is perfect for team building, date night, girls night out, birthday parties and so much more. Bring in some food and drinks the, uh, and put a creative you know, spin on a night on the town. Do you want to find out more about what's going on in the Peoria event. area? Makes well, check really us out at enjoypeoria.com. Well, is there anything else we're missing? No, I think that uh, you've got it all. Just come so, to So, Casey, there's a lot of fun events coming up this weekend. One of them um, yes. at the Paradise the is Past Curfew. It's an yeah. 80s cover okay, so band. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Who doesn't love the 80s? Oh, yeah. really. And, like, all these, next. you know, there's a number of 80s Get cover Get out your calendars. We're about to fill your free time. Step no, back in time oh, and enjoy like one of the best ball. 80s cover bands oh, in the yeah. Midwest. We were Pass always curfew going to the at the Paradise Ball Casino concerts. Rocks Bar, was, uh, June 29th. Pass Curfew is oh, here yeah? for an awesome <laughs> night of 80s <laughs> I mean, with very it, special guests you know, and shooting. Fun music. Rock out to the Paradise it's, Facebook it's, page it's to learn more. Come witness the magic of lanterns as they light up the Glen Oak Park Lagoon at the Water and Lantern Festival Saturday, June 30th. The Water Lantern Festival brings people together for a magical night of food, music, and an awe-inspiring sight as the lanterns reflect upon the water. Interesting. Well, Visit the Water the Lantern future, Festival so website for more information. In um, Concerts in the, the Courtyard in Heritage like Square continue June 30th the with Chicago um, Farmer. I, I Get mean, ready I for a magical a evening board. by one of the I best like storytellers around. To Enjoy the live music and great now. beer from Probably Four not. Brothers Marty Craft Tap Room. Did you know you can do trivia in the Peoria area pretty much any night of the week if you wanted to? Get a group together of your smartest friends or maybe just the ones with the most useless knowledge in their heads and check out one of the great trivia nights in the area. You can play Monday night at Brasky's, Tuesday at yeah, MD like Sports it, Bar and Grill, Wednesday cool at Four Brothers this, Tap Room, I mean, and Thursday Chicago's at the Fox Pub. Big, big Looking for more fun events? Head on over to our website, enjoypeoria.com, or visit us on social media, do, it's a wonderful Facebook, life, Twitter, and Instagram so at Enjoy Peoria. So to see one come to the area, it's just amazing. Welcome back awesome to Happy Paradise. Half Hour. So hard to make this in this fast-paced so world that we live in, chances are you deal with a little bit of stress and tension. Well, we have got a solution for you. Today we're coming to you from the Peoria Himalayan Salt Cave. And we're talking to the owner, Nikki Wenzel Spratt, about what a Himalayan Salt Cave is and how and it can help you in gone. your day to day kind of life. A, so Nikki, thanks know, so much really for having really us cool today. And it's, is it inside the casino Let's or is start with the, the first question. The, um, I what is a Himalayan salt cave? Kind of like so basically outside what of the rocks area. I'm not entirely sure about so that, but I know they have great information on Facebook about the event, but not too much. So then you still have to kind of go and check it out. All the walls are surrounded with Himalayan salt, pink Himalayan salt, rock and brick on the walls, white Himalayan salt on the floors, totaling over 11,000 pounds of Himalayan salt in here. And then and then part Part of, few weeks, part of what so kind of makes this more of a therapeutic well, we experience do. is, uh, yeah, in addition to the salt then. surrounding um, you, you also event, have um, um, uh, pharmaceutical grade uh, sodium chloride uh, salt I mean, so um, pumped in during the session as well. And so that's kind of what gives the health benefits of breathing and that type of thing. I know this weekend they've got my absolute favorite Chicago Good comment there. What are the health benefits of Himalayan salt? I know you read about it all the time and I only cook with it, but why? Well, okay, so Himalayan salt actually has, why it is considered to be better yeah, than so what we think of at home as our table Canada, salt is because it has 84 cool, trace cool minerals guy, in it. Um, but for and a setting like this, so much fun, what you are experiencing is not here. just now a wonderful setting for stress relief, relaxation, um, that type of a thing, top, but you breathe exciting. in the yeah, tiny I'm, salt I'm particles really that go down into the lungs where they help to clean and purify. So anyone that has allergies, asthma, cold, sinus, even COPD will notice improved breathing. They feel more open. It's easier to take a deep breath. And then Himalayan salt is also known to be really good for your skin. We keep some Himalayan salt balls out at our uh, no, uh, at our chairs here. Yeah. And so sometimes people will just hold these in their hands, um, and then you can rub them on your skin. I've even had people lay back and put them on their heads because it can help with headaches. So yeah, and they're antiviral, antibacterial. Um, so when people handle them, they don't pass germs from person to person. Um, and then probably the other big benefit that you hear people talk about, same with the salt lamps, is that the salt gives off negative ions that going. helps to counter the positive or pollutant ions that we're around all day. And so when you leave a cave session, cool your body truly does feel balanced and you just feel good. It's so neat just to see.
And I love, I love that I mean, you go in either in socks or I'm barefoot right now, and it yeah. does, it just feels nice on your toes, and you do, you feel like yeah. and now you can go kind of early, just feel it. The street seats, they've got the cool, those are, I think, um, are all like done So now what do you do in a salt cave? Yeah. So, they've turned the so really, a lot of people, when they come in for the first time, they have no idea what to expect, and it's it's a very odd concept in the sense that you really just come in, sit back, relax, and breathe. We have some very nice spa music that pipes in during that time, and we do ask, you know, it's a break from the electronics, so we ask that you not bring them in. Um, we ask that people are so much quiet um, so that it can, it can truly be a time of relaxation, meditation, whatever it is best for you. Work on some of that. Probably walk in a block anyway. So how long is a general exactly. session? Um, Every exactly. session is 45 minutes, and they start on the hour. So if you yeah. scheduled your appointment for 10 o'clock, we'd ask that you come 10 to 15 yeah. minutes early. And once your session starts, it's 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying 45 minutes of just Everybody laying back in a chair and, and breathing and, all, and relaxing, you know, and that sounds amazing and, and something that I think people don't do enough of or schedule time for, so that's fantastic. Um, I know we talked earlier, and you mentioned that you're um, working on some new ideas and some new programs to offer so here. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I mean, First, we would like to offer so cool. yoga. Every year and I'm in the process so I'm just, of just trying to who figure out this? where um, is best in the schedule like, to fit that well or how many different like, sessions would be beneficial to people. So I'm, I've got a couple of ladies that I'm talking with that do yoga, that teach yoga, and then also 309 has reached out to me. And so I need to work, I need to get back with them and we're going to talk about scheduling yoga in here and then after that I could, and this might be yet a couple months down the line, but we do want to offer massage. And we have an extra room so here right no, now no, that no, I haven't worry, decided exactly what to do with. But my thought we'll is the, we'll, we'll line that room exactly. with Himalayan salt brick. Well, that's, um, there won't be it, salt on the floor, but there will be um, salt that pumps you know, uh, in. And so it would still be that halo therapy, which is what salt therapy is called. But it would be combined with massage, so you'd have the massage and the halo therapy together. That's probably six months down the road, maybe, but that's what we're looking at. Well, that sounds amazing. Um, so what inspired you to bring Facebook this to the Peoria area? How did yes. you get, how did you fall in love with Himalayan salt? Well, so I, gosh, so maybe eight years ago, um, I was just up in the Naperville area Peoria doing like a spa girls weekend and saw this salt cave. And I thought, hmm, that seemed interesting. I'd never heard of that before. So I called and scheduled an appointment. And from the very first session I had there, I absolutely loved it. It's hard to describe the feeling that you have after you leave a cave session, but you just feel so renewed. You feel so relaxed. Um, and so I would go back there for, well, many years. I went from probably 2010, 2011 until I opened mine here. Um, and I would go, you know, not that often because it was a two hour and 15 minute drive or so there and then back. But maybe four times a year I would go and I just loved it. And then I got to a place in my teaching career where I just felt it was time to do something different. And being an entrepreneur, something that had, has interested me for several years. And it took me a, it took me a while to think of bringing the Salt Cave here. I loved it, but I didn't, it wasn't something that was in my mind initially. And then as soon as I thought of it, I thought, oh my God, I need to do this and get on it fast before somebody yeah. else takes the idea. <laughs> so, um, so yes, I just, I, I truly love it. And I'm just so glad to be able to bring it here. Well, that's amazing. And how has it been received by the area? Because this is a very new concept for a lot of people, I imagine. It is a very new concept. And, and overwhelmingly, the, the response has been positive. Um, we've got such a nice following here for, you know, whether that be like the holistic approach or alternative therapies or just coming and relaxing a spa type setting, you, we hit a, a variety of different kinds of people and needs. Um, so, so far, it's been wonderful. And I imagine, I know just from sitting here in this 10 minutes that I need to come back. So I imagine you have a lot of repeat customers too once you get in here and, and just enjoy this ambiance and just breathe. It's amazing. Thank you. We do. We've got, we've had a couple of um, monthly members. So they, they, when you join and you do a monthly membership, you can come every day if you want to, which is, which is basically what people will do. If you have allergies that are terrible, our first monthly member, she did her um, like mid no, maybe the end of March to the first week of May. And so um, she came every day. Wow. And she said her allergies during that time were incredibly better. It was very noticeable. So, yeah. Well, that's fantastic. So where can you find out about the different um, packages, the time slots available, that sort of thing? Probably the best location right now is our Facebook page. Um, and it's just under Peoria Himalayan Salt Cave. We are working on updating our website and making that a little bit more user-friendly. Right now, it's just kind of 
kind of a generic website, but um, Facebook is great right now, and you can find all of that stuff on there. And you know, people can always just call and ask. And perfect. And also, when you walk in um, in the storefront, you have all of the Himalayan salt needs covered. Um, where do you? Do you find a lot of people purchasing this after they leave and kind of taking a little piece of it home? They do. Um, surprisingly, and I did not know this, but the Himalayan salt balls that we have out here, um, this, my salt cave builder said, you have to leave these in the room. He said, you'll be surprised how much people love these. And when they leave, that that is one of the things we have a hard time keeping in stock. I mean, I will order four to five dozen at a time, and then I'm ordering them. I've probably ordered them three times in the last two months. Wow. So, yeah. So it kind of just depends on what you're looking for. But, yeah, there's... The Himalayan, the Himalayan salt products are, one, beautiful, but they also are functional as well. And I think you're in a really interesting location because, I mean, when you drive by, you wouldn't think, oh, that's probably a salt cave building. Um, but you know you're in a very great area. Um, can you tell a little bit about how you picked the spot? Well, so I had I had some difficulty in deciding where I wanted to be. But what I love about this location is... First, I'm right up on Pioneer Parkway, and Pioneer Parkway is a very well-traveled road. Mm -hmm. And at first, I wasn't sure that that was necessarily going to be the best fit. But when I, when we were traveling around, my husband and I, looking for spots, initially I was drawn to the Grand Prairie area, just because it seems to be more of a fit out there. But um, in our location, right behind us, we have a women's health center, and I think there's another um, health facility back behind, uh, back behind our building that kind of fits into, you know, this type of a thing and so it really works out perfectly I think. Well I agree I think it's an awesome location. Thank you so much for letting us come in today Nikki I really appreciate it it's an amazing spot so if you guys need a little relaxation in your life or just need to take a minute for yourself uh, check out Peoria Himalayan Salt Cave on Facebook and stay tuned we'll be back with more Happy Half Hour. Hi, this is Matt Rixner, owner of the Fox Pub and Cafe, and this is one of our signature British fare dishes, chicken curry. Head down to Water Street to the Hive Art Studio and Gallery. Pretend you're Picasso and learn to paint a masterpiece on canvas. Fun and passionate instructors will lead you step by step in one of their many painting classes offered throughout the year. But if you want to let your creative juices flow freely, you can always make your own creation during happy art. The Hive is perfect for team building, date night, girls night out, birthday parties, and so much more. Bring in some food and drinks and put a creative spin on a night on the town. Do you want to find out more about what's going on in the Peoria area? Well, check us out at enjoypeoria.com. So, Casey, there's a lot of fun events coming up this weekend. One of them yes. um, at the Paradise is Past Curfew. It's yeah. an 80s cover band. Um, and... And, Who doesn't love the 80s? Oh, really? And, and like all these, you know, there's a number of 80s cover bands that, that come around, um, uh, you know, Breakfast Club. Oh, and, I used to be like a Hairbangers Ball oh, yeah? junkie. We were always going to the Hairbangers we Ball were, concerts. I was uh, I was part of a 16 Candles group. Love oh, 16 yeah? Candles. But, but, <laughs> but they, I mean, they all play, you know, it's same just kind fun of music. music. And it it's, is. And it's, it's just, it's fun music to, to dance to yeah. and, and have fun with. And, and the cool thing about At the Paradise yes. is that they have this new pop-up bar called, uh, it's, yeah. Back to the Future, themed to Back to the Future. Now, I don't, do you, what, have you been to it? I haven't do been you know yet, the but, oh, I don't know what the concept I, is. Like, Well, it's Back to the Future, so they've got the DeLorean there. Um, I know the whole menu is based off of, like, the characters throughout the movie. Um, I, I mean, I hope there's a hoverboard. I feel like they somebody's had to have developed the hoverboard yeah. for this by now. Probably not. Marty McFly's jacket, all that okay. cool stuff. I love Back to the Future, the whole trilogy. I watch it, like, a couple oh, times yeah. a year, probably. It's so fun. See, I'm not like, I, I'm one of those, I'm like, I'm not a big, like, yeah. 
the biggest batch of the feature fan, but like watching the movies, I mean, they're really good. Oh, they and, are. And I know they have a huge following. Definitely. And, and um, it's just yeah. cool that we have this because I mean, Chicago's had a big, big surge of pop up bars yeah. over the last year. They had the Save by the Bell. They have every winter they do. It's a Wonderful Life pop up bar, yeah. and they're so popular. So to see one come to the area, it's just amazing. It's awesome that the Paradise works so hard to make this happen. So what is, what's the concept of? Because I, I honestly don't really know what a pop up bar is. Is it just literally what it's what? It's it exactly like. what it's, it sounds like. It's a bar that pops up for about three weeks and it's gone. So it's just a cool opportunity to create a new experience for the Peoria area, yeah. um, just to go check it out, try a new bar out, and then it'll be gone. It's kind of a I don't know. It's just a really, really cool thing. And it's, is it inside the casino or is it inside the hotel? It's or? inside the, um, I believe it's inside the casino portion, kind of like outside of the rocks area. I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote so me like on that. But I know they have that... great information on Facebook about okay. the event, go but not too much. So then you still have to kind of go and check it out. Yeah, a little bit of surprise. Yeah, there has been. It's been kind of like yeah. sneakily marketed. Well, I've seen some photos of it. And I've seen the menu and, yeah. and their drink specials, and it looks really cool. And I know uh, my fiance and I have been talking like, oh, we need to go check this I out. I know, so and it's, it's only like, it only runs through like... The next few weeks, I think. So it's kind so of, uh, you got to get there. Well, we have to because we're going on vacation in a week. So. Yeah, you better um, hurry then. Um, another cool event. Um, it's something that, that's been going on uh, uh, forever. It goes on I mean, all summer. I don't know how long, it goes yeah. on all summer as a concert in the courtyard um, that's put on in Heritage Square yeah. by, by Poor Brothers. I know this weekend they've got my absolute favorite, Chicago Farmer. Yeah, he's awesome. I'm from Manitou and he's actually from Delavan. So a lot of the songs are like just small town Illinois yeah. songs and just, you know, fun to relate to. It's like a, he has a nice folk. He does. Um, he does. He does. Kind of like Arlo a, Guthrie, yeah. kind of just cool. Just mm -hmm. cool guy. Great music. And all of their concerts are so much fun because Poor Brothers has just the best beer. Yeah. Now they're going to have the best barbecue. They're opening a new barbecue restaurant up top, which is exciting. Yeah, I'm, I'm really pumped about that. Like, and then Brianzo's going in yeah. there. I mean, there's going to be... Some, I mean, there's already so many great restaurants in the Heights, but... Like you could do a food and bar crawl on the Heights easily now, and they're adding all this other stuff, oh, yeah. you know, coming up. And and the cool thing about the, the Contrast in the Courtyard is is it's one, like, I've had people come up to me like, oh, have you heard of Contrast in the Courtyard? You know, we need to check out this thing. It's Contrast in the Courtyard. It, like, by word of mouth, it's, it's growing, become like such crazy. a big thing. And, and we, we went a few times last year, and it's just, it's so relaxed it's, you know, you have a lot of fun. It's, mm -hmm. it's not like, you know. You can bring a chair. It's not like you're stuffed in a yeah. building, smushed it, together. I mean, you don't have yeah. to, like, worry, you know, some of these bigger concerts or, like, some of these bigger shows in the area, and you're like, oh, gosh, there's too many people. Yeah. You know? But it's just, it's so relaxed. It's it's easy going. Yeah, they do um, a great, the Poor Brothers guys, they do an awesome job. They've done a lot for the Heights. It's cool to cool to see them keep developing and keep yeah. growing new, new yeah. things. It, it's so neat just to see. What it was, I mean, it was it was really cool when, when we were kids, but to yeah. see what it's like now and, and just, like, all the restaurants. Yeah. And, and now if you go early, the street seats, they've yeah. got the cool, those are, I think, are all, like, done now and painted and decorated. Yeah. So they've turned the parking spots into, they've put um, shipping containers there, cut in half and turned them into really cool little dining options where I think there's, like, two to four tables yeah. per spot. So just another fun way to to enjoy the and that's been like a big thing in in a lot of other in yeah. bigger cities. Oh, yeah. Like they've been doing that, and I know a lot of people are like, "Well, what about parking? There's so much. Oh, there's well, so much parking. Don't understand how much parking there is in Peoria Heights. You know, you may not be able to park right in front of the restaurant. You have to walk a block. But, yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, <laughs> work off some of that dinner. You're probably walking a block anyway afterwards. <laughs> exactly. So, um, exactly. So. And I know next week, obviously, is Fourth of July. Yeah. We have Red, white, and boom, and we have. The, All uh, the park, communities, yeah. yeah. I mean, everyone, I mean, Chile park has, their, has, has theirs. Park has theirs on the 3rd, Chile yeah. has theirs. I think um, everybody, Washington has yeah. one, Morton. And they're all, they all, you know, you go to one when you grow up and you keep going mm -hmm. to it. Like, I remember yeah. we used to go to the one on, on the 3rd um, uh, uh, at Glen Oak and yeah. stuff. We used to hang out at, at Woodruff and, and on the ball field there and you can look up. It's so neat. It's Well, it's nice just to be, I mean, fireworks are just, they're just so cool. Every year at the I mean, fireworks, I'm just I'm just dazzled. Like, who did this? I'm blown away just of how like it's how well it's choreographed. I know. Like, and, and with the music and I mean, like, in how like you know one goes off this at this time, one's supposed to go off at this time. Like, I don't like that. Yeah. That, there's an art to it, oh, and for sure. I don't think I could ever master. No that, way. So no way. I get kind of nervous throwing those little. What are those little pop things? The pop things. Ooh, yeah. Every time it pops, I kind of I jump. I mean, so I don't think I could. I'd have a yeah. future in lighting the actual. No, me neither. The actual fireworks. We're, we're on the same boat. Okay. Good. So. So we will not quit our day job. No, no, no. Don't no. worry. We're still Gloria, doing we're this. Here. We're still doing this. We'll let the we'll let the pyrotechnics <laughs> yeah, do the good pyrotechnics. Call. So, well, good that's call. it. That's it for this week's that's show. It? Um, you know, uh, 
if, if you're ever looking for something to do, you know, you're looking for some fun firework events or maybe a cool restaurant in the Heights or, or you want to check out the, uh, the pop-up bar at the Heck Paradise, yeah. um, always, you can always head to our website, enjoypeoria.com, or you can visit us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Yes. And as your mom always says, if you're bored, then that's because you're boring. You're boring. So, well, so get out there and enjoy Peoria. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Have a good day. Thank you. And a good week. PeoriaLife.com.